is the Wii Viewer. And the Little Wii Viewer. And we're going to review... Pilot Wing. For the Super Nintendo. Wait, I mean the virtual console for the Wii U. But technically they're both right. This whole month we're going to be looking at games from Club Nintendo. If you haven't heard it's being shut down in a few months, you better spend your coins now. And so, get your Flipnote Studio 3D. Yeah, that too, if you have a 3DS. So I've decided to use up some of my many coins to do reviews that I probably wouldn't have done because either I don't think it's worth the money or I've just never played it so I had no idea what to expect so I didn't want to bother buying it in case it was just bad. This is a game I've actually never played before. So have you ever played Pilot Wings or Pilot Wings 64 which was for the N64? No. I played Pirate Wings Resort. What's that? It's a game that came out on the 3DS during its launch. It kind of sucked. The only fun part was free roaming and they limited that. I really don't know anything about the 3DS. I've hardly played it. With the exception of that new Phoenix Wright game, I haven't really played the 3DS much at all. So what did you think of the first Pilot Wings? The tutorial felt like it dragged on too long. Half of the game is the tutorial. It's not really much of a game, but more of a flight simulator. I was thinking they'd be more like, you know, Nintendo than Microsoft Flight Simulator. It really is more Microsoft Flight Simulator, except you've never played Microsoft Flight Simulator because it's even more boring. I now, have, I'm sure th- actually. Yeah, what would you think of it? It was pretty boring. I flew around in a pretty bare space. I hear that now you can, like, fly real flights around the world. Wait, wait why are we talking about Microsoft Flight Simulator? Buy it now. Focus on Pilot Wings. We're not going to go off on 12 tangent like we usually do we're gonna try our best to stay on target pilot wings is basically a flight simulator just like we said you get to pilot a plane hang glider jetpack and skydiving what was your favorite thing to do i would say the jetpack jetpack all the way i got to live my dream of being the rocketeer i thought the rocket pack was really cool it was the one that gave the most freedom really the plane didn't feel as fun as i thought it would be like you couldn't really do anything special with the plane you could go forward you're supposed to do special moves later on I see no barrel rolls in the construction. No, because most planes that aren't stunt planes don't do that. Believe it or not, this game probably, I'm assuming, follows pretty close to the laws of reality. That they wanted to create a game that you would actually feel like you're piloting a plane. Which one did you not like the most? I'd say parachuting. I would agree with you also. I think we just see eye to eye on this one. Hang gliding was okay. See, you had to get the updrafts in order to go up higher at times. Hang gliding was basically just a combination of a plane and a skydiver at the same time. What I, what I kind of liked was that later on in the game, if you actually pass more of the levels, they give you different weather elements to it, like ice and nighttime. And I thought that was cool. Now, we do have to say, because I'm sure I'm going to get comments about this, there is a fifth mode you can do, which is the helicopter. Or as I like to call it, the obligatory helicopter sequence. Or the someone played 1943 game, because that's exactly what it felt like. You know what? One shot, you're dead. You have to stop the enemies from shooting you down by destroying their gun turrets. It was very hard and did seem out of place for this game. The whole game is really peaceful, and then this thing makes it all warlike and it felt weird there was plenty of secrets in this game to discover but one of the more fun things that i found was that when you do really well is it that the pilots will actually have different expressions how well you did on the test that you're doing so if you do really bad they kind of like give you like this like normal look if you do just outstanding it looks like they're just losing their stuff look at those eyes they're like moing moing it's like someone's just tripping <laughs> So, little reviewer, Pilot Wings, would you buy, sale, or skip? This is a tough one. I had some fun with it, but it didn't really have the content to want to go back to it or just want to play it. Well, you could perfect your piloting skills, so there was plenty of replayability in that. But why would you want to? Why would you want to get five minutes in Super Mario Brothers? Because you want to try and make yourself better at the game. I'm going to say, wait for it to go on sale, like super sale. It's somewhat fun. You'll get some enjoyment out of it. But I just didn't have the enjoyment to want to really buy the game at full price. I had a lot more enjoyment with the game than you did. This one's between buy and sale for me. You have no idea how much I'm quandering this one. Definitely you should buy it with your Nintendo coins. There's no doubt about that because it's not that much. This one's going to really have to come down to if you're looking at this video and you see the gameplay and it looks interesting to you, yeah, it's worth a buy. But if you're just kind of looking at it and going, yeah, it looks somewhat interesting and maybe this might appeal to me, I think you should probably wait till it's on sale. I'm going to say sale and buy. Well, thanks for watching our review of Pilot Wings. Why don't you check out our previous review of Ice Climbers? Or check out a classic review of Wii Sports Resort. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe.